Hey everybody, this is part two of my hydroponic orange tree. I bought this orange tree last March, year 2014, and it's a Washington navel tree. If you missed the first video, I'll put a link there at the end of the video, so you can click on that if you want to see part one. But for a quick recap, I bought the tree from Home Depot, transplanted cocoa core, grew it in my greenhouse, and I put it outside all summer long here, here on the Oregon coast. And I'm going to show you some pictures and, and some clips from this year. Now this is the first time I've ever grown an orange tree. I live here on the southern Oregon coast and our weather definitely doesn't permit us to be able to grow any type of citrus, uh, at least outdoors anyways. So I was pretty excited when I ran across this. I've been dinking around hydroponics for the last few years so I really wanted to give this, a, give this thing a try. So and pretty much it was a very, very low maintenance. Um, I fed it maybe once, once every two weeks, depending on the heat, of course. But when we got warmer, um, I obviously fed it a little bit more. But um, it stayed outside all summer long. So right now, this here she sits, and uh, she, it grew a little bit. But from what I understand, uh, they're pretty slow growers. So um, I wasn't really expecting this huge, uh, huge growth. And it's also a dwarf tree, so. But I got a little surprise I want to show you guys. Aha! My first orange. Look at that bad boy. I actually had quite a bit um, of flowers. Uh, end up turning to fruit, but they end up being really small and they end up uh, just kind of rotting and falling off. So I was a little disappointed, but um, I knew it'd take a year or two to get um, start getting some fruit. But uh, man, when this baby just uh, started growing, I was really really excited. So hopefully um, she can make it till the end of Christmas. So my wife won't let me bring the orange tree back and in, back indoors. So she she has one rule, I guess. Uh, only one tree in the house at a time. So right now we have a Christmas tree. So I gotta wait till the Christmas tree's gone before I can bring a uh, bring the orange tree back in. Well, I ended up getting quite a few flowers throughout the summer, and um, most of them didn't take. They ended up falling off. But you can see, I ended up. Seemed like throughout the year a bunch of little baby type oranges and uh, whether it be in the climate or just the tree being too young, I ended up losing quite a few of them. But in the flowers, they smell really, really citrusy, um, a really pleasant smell. Like I was saying earlier, I was uh, really amazed on how many flowers these, uh, this little tree produced. And uh, right now, with the moisture and the cold weather here, they seem to um, be really molding up and not have a very good chance there for uh, turning into fruit. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I had some requests on how my orange tree was doing, so I know this wasn't super exciting, but uh, for me, it's pretty exciting to see this orange. So hopefully, hopefully, the next time I do a video on it, on my hydroponic orange tree, we'll have a real orange <laughs> coming out here. So cross your fingers, wish me luck, and I hope everybody has a great Christmas and. Uh, as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment. Alright, take care.